Hi, I'm the woodpecker today. I'm going to show you how to build this DVD shelf. My daughter recently came back home to live. That's when I realized that she doesn't have enough space on her DVD shelf for all her DVDs. So I decided to build her a modular DVD bookshelf for her birthday. I started by getting some pine boards to make all the cubes of the bookshelf. First, I cut them smaller so I could cut them exactly the right size on the table saw. After a couple of minutes, I have enough to start. As you can see, the plans are pretty simple. This just needs to be a perfect square. All the small cubes are held together with dominoes. I'm using the two stop paddles underneath the domino joiner to help with the alignment. I also make the domino holes on the end grain at the top and bottom. Then I just need to assemble all the cubes. Here's a bunch that are already assembled. Now you can see all 24 cubes I made. The others are rectangular. I make six of them with my dovetail jig. It all goes pretty fast, but it's making a big mess. The last four with dovetails are made by end. I tell myself that I need more practice for end cut dovetails. Now you have three ways to make the boxes. But I must say that if I would have needed more than four end cut dovetail boxes, I would probably just have used nails. I'm finishing the last one right now. As you can see, double boxes can have an horizontal or vertical layout. This can also give you space for your trinkets, like this plastic parrot. I take the end cut dovetail boxes apart one by one and punch a letter inside. This way it will be easier to reassemble later on. Each piece needs to have a coat of dye. Now it's time to let them dry. I must say one thing, I really don't understand the fun in making dominoes fall. I really didn't enjoy it. When the dye is dry, I apply a coat of shellac on all the pieces and let that dry. I give all the pieces to my daughter for her birthday. Pretty soon I realize she needs a little help assembling it all. So we have a nice father-daughter time. After a while, René comes to help us. Mm -hmm. 
After all the boxes are assembled, I show her an example of a design. Once Chantal decides on her own design, we assemble it and I staple the backs of the boxes together to make it more stable. Then I screw all of this to the wall using a bracket. This way I'm sure it won't fall over. Then the girls place all the DVDs in alphabetical order on the bookshelves. Here's my daughter's new DVD bookshelf that I made for her birthday. Now she can put all she wants in it, even some special trinkets. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time for another episode of The Woodpecker. <laughs>